when I was describing code, I said that it was a list of instructions that told how to do something. Uh, but how do you actually make those instructions do something? Well, you um, do that by executing statements. So each statement is basically one part of the code that does one particular thing or performs one particular action. Um, we can essentially say that a line of code is more or less the same as a statement, although sometimes it's possible to break a statement up over several lines. But we can think of them as being roughly interchangeable. So both R and Python have statements. And the way that we make these statements uh, work or execute depends on how we're running the um, application, either Python or R. There are two ways that we can do it. We can do it in an interactive mode, in which case we basically run each statement one at a time in a shell. And then if anything is supposed to happen, it happens immediately after we type each line. The other option is to run the entire script all at one time. And things only happen if uh, we explicitly say they should happen inside the script. It's po possible to run both R and Python in either mode. So let's check this out. I have written a little script here in Python. And here it is over here. It's just a two line script that has, uh, it has two um, statements. And if we want to run them, we can go to the terminal window and then go ahead and start up the Python shell. Now I can tell that I'm in Python shell because I have these three uh, greater than symbols here, which is different than what I see if I'm just in the bash shell. So I'm too lazy to try to type all these things, so I will just copy and paste them in one at a time. So if I paste the first line in and then hit the enter or return key, it's going to execute the statement. And what the statement does is basically tells the computer to ask who I am and then take whatever I type in and put it into a variable or a storage space that I've called name. So when I press enter, it's asking me who I am. I will type in Steve and press enter. And now I see the triple greater than sign again, which basically means it's done doing that particular statement. And that's it. Now, I don't see any output, but that's because I never told it to show me any output. That's what happens in the second line. So in the second line, which has a print command, I'm basically uh, asking the shell to print on the screen um, what the value of name is along with some other words. So if I uh, enter that and press the return key. Now it says, hi, Steve, my name is computer. So this is how you could execute this code in an interactive uh, manner in the shell. But I've also saved this script in a, uh, in a file named hello.py. And so I can run this, the both lines at once if I do that. So I'm going to get out of the interactive shell. I think I can do control C. No, control Z. Yes. Uh, and now I'm back in the uh, bash shell. So in I can now invoke this uh, script by typing Python, but not just hitting enter. I'll type Python and then the name of the script, which is hello.py. Now it'll run both of the lines at once. Okay, so it's running the first line, who are you? And I'm gonna respond and when I hit return, it will then automatically move on to the next line, which is to print out whatever I typed in plus those other words. So this is an example of running the script in script mode. 